We are starting PS2 because where else would we start in Smash Ultimate, right, guys? Three, two, one, go! This is a matchup that we actually do get to witness a bit of you now. Fortunately, I'm not super expert in either of these characters. Uh, one. Oh, wow! A great call out on the dash attack with the up smash. Um, kind of showing him that he's not allowed to get away with that. Yeah, Rob does have uh, some pretty good out of shield options. Um, not every move. Is that possible to do that for every move? Yo, Sparky going in with the counter and like literally everything else. Leaving his, uh. <laughs> the little mimic or uh, substitute actually like extending the back air of Rob's hitbox. Oh, that was an interesting up air, up, up upwards air dodge. Okay. Yep, yeah, Rob is a little heavy, so uh, Greninja up throw not quite gonna kill yet, but pretty soon it'll actually be in a position where it can do so. And we don't see that up smash that we saw like in the initial part of the match, I'm surprised. Uh, either Hayes not thinking that he can get it consistently, or I guess just not wanting to risk it until it actually kills. And a great F smash to call out the Nair. Nair is safe on hit, technically, but uh, you have to actually hit him to get that. To get that. And back there, almost taking it for, uh, for Hayes. Oh, he mistimed it by so little! He read the getup perfectly, but he just let it rip too soon because he wasn't expecting him to delay it that long. And side B. That's nah, not going to work if your opponent's waiting for it, but it is a great way to surprise someone if you're not careful. We could see uh, Rob Nair honestly taking the stock pretty easily. Oh my goodness, so close. Perfect DI from Sparky. If he hadn't be at it like that well, it would have definitely killed. Alright, Hayes has got to find some kind of kill move because Rage Greninja is not where you want to be and he got hit by the Water Shuriken fully charged off stage! Oh my gosh! <laughs> this man is dead! Sparky with a great lead right now. Alright, and uh, Rob up there, you get hit by that at 180%, definitely gonna die. Oh my... So, one thing that they changed about the uh, Greninja's down air is this kind of run out of fuel. No, he's, he's, he's fine. He's back. He's back in there. Uh, one thing they changed about Greninja's uh, down air is that he's allowed to up the out of it now. Or at least, like, jump out of it. So he can come back from doing it and go into the bottom of the stage almost. So it's like, it's a kind of high commitment way to edge guard someone, but if you get that read, oh, you're going to cause a lot of damage, dude. But uh, Hayes finally making a little bit of a comeback. He's got to he's got to take a full stock. He's got to take two stocks though before. Oh my goodness! Down smash, not a very strong move, unfortunately. So it's not gonna take it even with like a half charge. But side B off the stage. Good call out. And is the up smash gonna be it? Is it gonna be up smash? No. Nope. Sparky was like, "You're expecting up smash? It not it won't necessarily connect both the hits, so I'm not gonna go for it." All right, good, uh, good fuel, good fuel rationing by Hayes. Yeah, Sparky with a good lead. It's his game to lose right now. All right, but Hayes doing a really good job of uh, exerting a little bit of pressure from across the stage, but he's at that percent where like any small hit can take him out. So he's got to be careful when he's fighting Greninja. Of course, Greninja is out of confirm range now, so he has to actually go for a raw hit if he wants to get that kill. He's not going to be allowed to, to do a confirm. He just, does, he's just a too high of a person to do that. Oh, he went for the down smash! Is that going to be it? Up throw! That's it! A great up throw. A great, uh, a great grab from Sparky. He was starting to slip out of his fingers a little bit, but he managed to pull it back. Just like that, Greninja takes the first game. Sparky up 1-0 versus Rob.
one is interesting. Might hold this one. I'm not 100% sure why Hayes dropped out there, but uh, he's back. Hopefully he'll stick around. <laughs> Let's see if he says something in the chat. Wait, what? Ready? Okay, that's interesting. Wait. What's going on? Okay, so Hayes had it set so that he was gonna go rob. I mean, this is counter picks, so I guess it doesn't matter that much. So as long as they play it out, it's fine. I guess they're gonna play it out. I'm not really sure what's going on. Alright, so he's immediately killed himself. I'm not really sure what's going on here. There's a second, I guess, with some kind of issue. Maybe he was intent to pick Diddy? I have no idea at this point, dude. <laughs> I'm trying to find out what happened to with Hayes. Technically, it is his counter pick, so he's allowed to change. He doesn't have to pick first, so if he mispick the character, he has to tell his opponent. He doesn't necessarily have to commit to the uh, the character. I'm not really sure what happened there. Oh, I see what happened. He picked the wrong stage. Just playing on town and city. Yeah, uh, that's the problem. Oh man. Yeah, so, so uh, they made a few big changes to uh, to Diddy between Smash 4 and Ultimate. Uh, one of the biggest ones is the fact that they reduced the amount that he can charge his up to get distance, but they increased the uh, they decreased the the lag for doing explosion onto the stage by a lot, like a lot, a lot. That might be death, but nope, he had enough, uh, he had just enough food to make it back. And getting grabbed out of the Shadow Sneak! Oh, and a great call out by Sparky. Uh, very well spaced F smash. To take the second, to take the first stock. And you can see, uh, Sparky threw up the banana. That was particularly meant to make it so that, uh, Hayes could pull another one out immediately. And he would have to just play neutral normally. Uh, Diddy's Banana only allowed to trip you, I believe, twice in this game. Oh, uh, they may have changed it, at least that's how. Oh, well, they allowed to be thrown twice, sorry. Not, it can only trip you once, but it's only allowed to be thrown twice. Is what I meant. My bad. So if there's a way to keep it in play for longer and keep it out of Diddy's hands, it is actually very good for so. Oh my goodness! Getting sent at, like, the worst angle there. Barely making it back. And Diddy is allowed to, to blow himself up. But, he's got to be super careful of when he does so because if his opponent is looking for it, which is a very common strategy now with Diddy, uh, is just to blow yourself up. It can be very difficult. And Sparky throwing the banana up again, trying to keep it away from Diddy. Uh, Diddy with banana is extremely dangerous. And he doesn't have two of them anymore, he's only got one. So. He's got to make sure that he is careful with it. And again, you can see like Sparky is playing specifically at a range where he knows that if Hayes goes... If Hayes goes for the... Uh, if Hayes immediately goes for a really bad uh, bad barrel, he's going to be able to punish you. So that's very smart on his part. But throwing it up again, even though he's right next to Diddy. Oh, and the back hit of down smash, killing very well.
out a really good call out, but then he's not smash, not connecting. I'm kind of in awe of like this match so far. And that's gonna be it. Uh, Greninja's count uh, substitute an extremely powerful move. Taking it out, that upwards hitting uh, counter is extremely strong. Alright, so we're gonna have. Let me just check and see if they're ready. That was the set. Haze effects it in, very good. Alright, so next up we're gonna have Seabass versus Mooch. Seabass has been playing Ganondorf, and he actually has a very appealing. Uh